Let's go to Queensland now and catch up with the Shadow Queensland Education Minister, Jared Blay. Thanks for joining us, Jared. Uh, the findings that we've heard from this corruption uh, investigation uh, following allegations against Jackie Trad, as she says, that they've cleared her of any wrongdoing. So she can go back into Cabinet, can't she? Well, I don't know. I don't think she can because this is just another another one of uh, the integrity scandals for Jackie Trad. And I listened to her, Chris, this afternoon play the victim again in all of this. And the reality is she's not the victim. There are systemic issues in the Department of Education. And uh, even though the Crime and Corruption Commission have said what she did and her involvement or perceived involvement may not have been a criminal offence, it was certainly inappropriate, uh, misguided and should not have happened. Yeah, the deal here was she was not the education minister, she's the local member, and the education bureaucrats thought it might be a good idea if the person they'd chosen to be principal at a local school got to meet the local member before they signed off on her appointment. So the real mm. problem here, you can understand Jackie Trad wanting to take that meeting, the real mm. problem here is the bureaucrats, isn't it? They're looking well, to endear themselves to the, the Deputy Premier and they're looking to almost outsource, outsource the final veto. Well, the uh, principal A, as contained in the Crime and Corruption Commission report, was, uh, was appointed. They got, she got the job. Uh, and then the bureaucrats thought it would be good to test, to test that appointment with the Deputy Premier at the time, Jackie Trad. Uh, that meeting took place. It should never have taken place. And then after that meeting, uh, the person didn't get the job. But more importantly, the Education Department have been found to have basically dodged up numbers of the enrolments to then... Uh, manufacture an outcome which would mean they could re-advertise the position at a higher category uh, and therefore re-advertise the position. Uh, the panel chair, though, in testimony to the Crime and Corruption Commission basically has said that if the person hadn't have met with Jackie Trad, they would be the principal of that school today. Yeah, it is so quite although... extraordinary. And as you say, the, 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 uh, the uh, Crime, Crime and Corruption Commission has actually found their emails instructing people to delete public records and the rest of it. Well, we've got emails being deleted. Uh, the Crime and Corruption Commission recovered those deleted emails. Like, this is complete cover-up. This is deleting government documentation, emails. Uh, luckily, the Crime and Corruption Commission uh, found these emails on the server. And that was manufactured. That was the email that manufactured the numbers for the school enrolments. Well, Jackie Trent uh, is not going back into cabinet soon. That's obvious. It won't happen this side of this, this election. She is standing at the election. I still can't understand why the Libs are going to preference the Greens ahead of her. But uh, we'll have to have that debate another time.